This is my Laponics stuff. Osage rub, we've got Feather Blades, we've got Ted Baker and a Laponics gift pack. Inside we can see a number of boxes including cream, balm, a razor blade, pre-shave and of course, Brushingtons. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Mr. Shaves. Today we're going to be looking at this box of stuff. Liponics. I have no idea where they come from. It sounds French. It may not be French. It may be English, but it may not be English. It may be American, but it may not be American. One thing I do know, though, is its natural products are none harmful chemicals for your face. We're going to be reviewing all the stuff that comes in this box. There are a couple of things that I'm not going to use. One of them is a shaving. Let's tell you. Pre-shave oil. Shaving cream. Shaving brush. Classic razor. Aftershave balm. Shaving bib. Linen bag. I'm not going to use or review those. I'm going to review the shaving stuff. So, let's get started. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm going to be using, I'm not sure if it comes with a blade. I don't think it does. If it doesn't, feather blades. My favourite. If you want to harm your face, you want to cut those hairs from your face. Feather blades. And afterwards, a lovely scent of Ted Baker, London. Skinware, limited edition. Okay, so first of all, let's work through this. I'm going to wet the face. Everything's still in this box. I'm going to just take it out and use it. I've had a shower, I've washed my hair. I'm just wetting the face. Preparing the skin for the onslaught of a shave. Although, you see, I say that, I'm exaggerating. So, if your husband or partner is using cartridge razors, <laughs> then, and you want to make them a real man, get this stuff. And um, this pack will enable him to step from where he is to where it should be. So first of all, we've got, start with the beginning, pre-shave oil. Best if used after a warm shower. A dime-sized amount into the palm of your hand, rub together and place on face. I like the colour scheme, I've got to say. It's my kind of colour. There we go. Let's see. Oh, it's got wrappers on. Just rip it off. So, pre shave oil. I'm doing about four squirts. First one was just getting it going. What's the smell of that? Oh, I can't touch anything. I can't hold anything. It's too grippy. I'm on the opposite. It's slippy. Well, it's sandalwood. Sandalwood. There's a bit of lemon in there. Freshness, I guess. So that's sandalwood. Next. Shaving brush. In a box. Ready to go. Laponics shaving brush, plastic bottom, synthetic hairs. I'll just wet it. <laughs> it's quite, it's it's not it's not it's reasonably it's not it's soft-ish and it's kind of enough to be able to push that stuff into your skin. That's what you need. So I'm going to put that in the water. You don't really need to soak um, synthetic ones, but I'm going to do it because I like it nice and warm. Then I need all these boxes everywhere. Shaving cream. 
Again, nice and black. Sandalwood, all matches. Sandalwood. Um, not particularly massive smell. Oh, I haven't got a bowl. Bear with me for a sec. I'll just get a bowl. I've come back with a bowl. This is a new bowl that I bought. It's a wooden bowl. So that's one thing it doesn't come with, a bowl. So shaving kit bowlers. So shaving cream. Shaving cream is softer than shaving soap, obviously. Doesn't really smell loads. So I'm gonna pick up some shaving cream from this overfilled bowl. Put it on the brush. I put the brush in the bowl and we go round and round. Me and my wife have been watching Vikings of Valhalla. I feel this is a Viking bowl. Or maybe that would be a, a skull. I don't know. That. I'm not really happy about using a skull as a shaving bowl. You don't really see skulls around these days. Which is a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> the middle years, the middle ages. Oh, how we've moved on. Anyway, so we're going to put it on the face. It's quite thick. Took a bit of lathering to get. I wasn't a little bit that I put on the brush. Subtle smells of sandalwood. And you put the shaving foam on or shaving cream on to kind of make it a nice experience to kind of smooth on and use the razor. Okay, this bowl's nice, this wooden bowl. Right, next, but razor. Oh, oh it comes with blades. There you go. Oh, look, it's got Bombay doors. Look at that. So I'm going to use the blaze, the razor from here. It's cloud. I've never heard of cloud. So we're going to use them. Didn't say add razors. It's a finickety. They feel very, very flimsy. Just it feels like paper. So we're going to use it anyway. When you open them up, razors are very, very sharp. I mean, they're sharper than any. If you've never used one before, you won't believe how sharp they are. Okay, put it in the Bombay doors. Shut it. There you go. Safety razor, ready to go. Don't kill me. So I can take my sunglasses off because I don't need them. That was just for illustrative purposes at the beginning. So I'm going to go up. Mm. I was expecting that to be, <laughs> I was expecting it to be a really, the opposite of a uh, aggressive, you know, really soft, but that's not. That was, just by that, I feel like it's quite an aggressive one. And the razor blade, the cloud razor blade, feels really thin. And you can feel it kind of moving around because it's like so thin. But imagine the joy of your son, husband, dad, receiving his first safety razor when he becomes a man and realizes the folly of his ways using stupid um cartridge razors like the mac 3 and all that rubbish 
This one's a proper thing for proper men. Straight out of the box. I'm not complaining. The soap is not drying out. Sometimes when you put soap on, it's a little bit dry after a while because I had to faffle out getting the blade in. It doesn't feel dry and you need it nice and wet to kind of create that kind of flow of the blade against the skin. So obviously if with those, with, with the men and gentlemen and, and children and antelopes who have beards, it's very important to just see where you're shaving because otherwise you'll have a wonky beard. Yeah, I'm really surprised it's not a um, subtle blade at all. Often with beginner packs, they always start you off on like really, really soft, um, easy blades and it doesn't cut too deep. Okay. Okay, that was past one. If you're not into shaving or done it before, then you may, you may need to do it again. It's preferential to do a different direction because your beard grows in different the hair grows in different directions all over your face sometimes, most of the time. Unless you are ultra um, special and called Ken and made of plastic. So this soap's nice though, it's it's I don't particularly fond of the smell. It's just a subtle, very faint whiff of sandalwood. But it's doing the trick, it's moisturizing which is what you ultimately need. So previously I went up, now I'm gonna go along the side. It's always good to keep it taut. Hmm. Now I'm not liking these blades at all. can hear everything. Usually when you've got a good blade, like the feather blade, they're just made of thicker stuff so it doesn't kind of, you don't hear it pinging. It just kind of plows through the hair. This, you can feel it, a little bit of a tug and pinging along. So if you had your beard in a certain way, you'd probably make a little tune. Mm. If you're bored. There you go, that's done the trick. So I'm gonna rinse that off. I'm gonna do this first because you can rinse for ages and it just takes ages to come off. With a handy flannel, it comes off in seconds. So if you're a gentleman or a lady, if you're a lady and you shave your legs, it's always a good idea to consider the wonders of double edge safety raising, razoring because they are really close. They're close, the, the more aggressive ones, blades than is, can be really close, just as close as a wax, I would su suggest. Not that I shave my legs. That'd be a sight to behold, in a bad way. <laughs> I'm not boasting. <laughs> so there you go, that is my, it's functional, it's, it's a functional shave. I found. So the last box in this pack is the aftershave balm. 
So the outer tube arm is placed on the face via the hand. Sandalwood again is a definite theme of black and sandalwood. Uh, any information? Um, apply liberally to the face, neck, uh, every day after shaving. And then put that on. This will help in the healing and the sensitiveness of post-shave experience. I'm going to put on some Osage rub afterwards. Yeah, that's okay. That's a subtle smell. It tastes like an everyday shave. That's a good shave, everyday shave. Let's go overboard. Let's go Osage rub. Osage rub can be purchased online. I've never seen it in a shop in the UK. And I totally recommend it. So you put a, a little bit on your face after a shave. It's got alcohol in. And your face will sting. But it's like a wake up sting. It's like a slap in the face. Say, get up and get on with your day. Get up, you lazy. Anyway. And then to finish it all off and to smell nice throughout the day. Ted Baker from London, smelly stuff. Ah, oh, that's nice. What is that made of? It doesn't say anything at all. Oh, it does. It doesn't say anything. That is a kind of fruity smell, deeper kind of fruity smell. Kind of, uh, I can't describe it. It's lemony. There's a lemonness, there's a freshness, but it's a subtle, manly, deeper wood stroke leatheriness about it so yeah very good so there you go there's my wares for the day i've reviewed i feel i would recommend laponics for anyone who wants to start shaving and just wants everything now then you can upgrade different aspects of what you've got in the pack so you can upgrade the razor the blades that's the first thing i would do is get some decent blades and it's got all the other stuff it's a, and it comes in a pack together <clears throat> so Ladies and partners, dads, children, if you want to get dad or a partner, a person who shaves this stuff, I would recommend it for a starter. And then you can upgrade from this point onwards. Come and join me on my reviews of shaving things. The thrills and spills, the excitement of it all, and all before you on Mr. Shaves video. Subscribe and like at your will and join me. Goodbye.